Hi, I'm Courtney at womenlivingwell.org, home of Good Morning Girls. And today is Q&A Wednesday, and I have tons of Q&As about my homeschooling. I've made a video series about why we homeschool and the benefits and the challenges and the curriculum and our daily life and everything, and you guys want an update. So I will leave a link to the old video series down below, and I'll give you an update. So first, um, this is my sixth year of homeschooling that we're completing. I've homeschooled my son from kindergarten to fifth grade and my daughter from preschool through fourth grade. And so we currently use a curriculum called Classical Conversations. We just completed our fourth year using that. We also use Apologia Science and Saxon Math. And so what Classical Conversations is, is it's a homeschool group that uh, gets together one day a week from nine to three. And we go over grammar and history and geography and science experiments and we do music and we do art and we do recess and we do lunch and we do sentence diagramming and we do outlining and research papers and we do all these wonderful things together and we love this community. This is where we've made our closest friends. It is such a blessing. So one day a week we're doing that. On Fridays my father comes and he has lunch with us and he teaches some apology of science lessons to the kids and does a math lesson. And so he's been coming for many years since we began as well and that's a huge blessing. So those are two days a week. A week. So the other three days a week we're at home and the way our schedule runs is the kids wake up in the morning and there at the kitchen table they find uh, things that I've put on the table for them from the night before, I lay it out, and then they are not allowed to do anything until they complete that work on the table. So they come to the table and there they're gonna find their Bible and they're gonna have their quiet times. And the devotionals that they use are created by Word of Life and it's called Olympians. After their quiet times, they do a math warm-up worksheet and they do some phonics and grammar worksheets. And then they have a break. And that's usually when you're going to find me out on Instagram popping up with my Bible coloring chart and you're going to find me out on Facebook. You're going to see me coming in in the morning uh, doing some social media. It's usually between when they've woken up and they've done that morning work and then uh, they have a break in there and they eat breakfast and things like that. And then we come together and we do our Saxon math. Now, one of the great things about Saxon is that starting in fourth grade, they have uh, videos that actually teach the lesson. So I am no longer having to teach the math. Hooray! So what they do is they both have these little video DVD players that we've gotten like at Walgreens. They weren't too expensive. They each have one. They put their video in. They watch their math lesson for the day. And then my son is very independent, so he just works through his math and he gets it done. My daughter needs me to be with her, so after the lesson, sometimes I have to re-explain the lesson. And then as she works through her problems, she reads the answers out loud to me and we check every single one. And I work any uh, problems out with her that she needs. And that takes about an hour to an hour and a half every morning to do that. Um, after she completes that, they have a break again, and then they come back together and they have classical conversations work. There's something called memory review. There's a lot of things they memorize um, from history and grammar sentences and science and geography. They're memorizing maps and things like that. And in the old days, I used to have to sit and do rote memory work back and forth with them with flashcards and things. And now they uh, have an app that actually does this review for me. So uh, this year, they just get their iPad and I remind them, time to do your memory review, and they do it on their own. So I hope that you already see that my mornings have really opened up in the way of my children uh, being quite independent. Um, I'm really just guiding them and helping them with their troubles, but I'm not having to teach them like the old days which is a huge blessing because my blog is really growing and requiring a little bit more of me uh, this year. And so thank the Lord the timing has been right for them with the homeschooling. So then we have lunch, and then in the afternoon, that's when I really do more of my teaching. Uh, between one and two, I work with them on sentence diagramming and writing and their research papers, things, and stuff like that. And then at two o'clock, they go to the rooms for room time, something they've done since they were like little babies. And my son reads for an hour, and my daughter reads, and then she also plays with her toys or does crafts. And then the school day's over. So that's what a day in the life of our home looks like on uh, homeschooling days. And um, they also have activities. My son played uh, tackle football this year with the public school. He's been playing with public school football all the way through from kindergarten. And uh, my daughter is a cheerleader this year with the public school and she also takes a gymnastics class one day a week. And then my son had surgery on his feet this year, so you probably already read maybe about that. Um, so he did not play basketball, uh, but he will next year. And so that's their activities. They're also involved in a Sunday night program at our church where they do tons of memory verses and service projects and book reports and things like that. And they've really done great with that. 
and my daughter's also in the choir at church and so she's been singing solos and stuff like that. So I want to share with you one regret and uh, one thing I want to, uh, what we're going to do next year. So my biggest regret from the last six years in homeschooling is that I have not been super flexible. I'm someone who likes to get through like every single lesson. We don't skip a thing. We have to go over every single detail. And as a result, I think we've missed out on some of the fun of field trips and just being more flexible, like doing our schoolwork at the park or at Panera Bread and, and just some of those things. I want to be a little more fun next year. I see other homeschool moms that are super fun online and um, I'm creative. I, you know, I, I write and I do these things online so I just need to let that creativity come out a little bit more in my homeschooling so that's something I'd like to change um, for next year and um, and so I said I was going to tell you what we're doing next year and we're doing everything the same we're going to do classical conversations again we are going to do apology of science and sex and math we're very happy with the way this past year went um, but I also want to be open with you and let you know that we have toured the local public school with the kids so they could take a look to prepare themselves if that were to be in our future because we're just open year by year what the Lord uh, calls you know us to do and we've also um, toured the local Christian school my husband went along we really enjoyed uh, that seeing that and so um, we are prepared year by year uh, no guarantees I have no idea for the next year um, necessarily that we will necessarily be homeschooling we're just taking it one year at a time um, so I want to be open with you about that that we've never said you know that we're all the way necessarily going through but for next year I'm really excited we're all feet in and looking forward to it. So if you are a homeschooler, I invite you to leave a comment. Let us know what curriculum you're using. What do you use to disciple your children in God's word? Uh, what does your day look like? Um, I'd love to hear and keep walking with the King.